So here's a view under the car of the battery pack. Uh, I removed the two access covers that were underneath there, which are uh, these things. Just kind of a protective plate. Has a gasket, which seemed to be good at uh, keeping water in once it got in there. But I removed those. The thing I'm trying to figure out next is we've got the high voltage orange cables. At first I wasn't sure how to get those out. There's a, a screw that holds it in from the outside, but that's obviously not the electrical connection. So, uh, since I've got some daylight again, I was able to uh, dry it out under the car a little bit, just so I could slide under there. And here, uh, you can see all the ice coming out from the, uh, the two access ports. And what I have to do now is use my Harbor Freight heat gun to melt the ice to get at the electrical connections to unbolt those. Once I get all the electrical connections off, I should be able to drop the battery pack. The battery pack is up under the middle of the car, and it's held in place by a number of bolts like this that connect the battery pack to the frame. So I should be able to uh, do a trolley jack under there and drop it down similar to... Uh, how a, a large heavy gas tank would be removed. So, um, looks like that's the next step in this project. I'm a little disappointed at the battery pack there, but you know, I knew this could be the worst, uh, worst case scenario, and it certainly looks like it is. Um, for everybody who said things like, hey, anything that's got salt water in it, rinse it out with fresh water. Uh, sounds like great advice, but unless it's something I can take off the car and into my bathroom sink or bathtub, uh, I can't really do that. You know, it's, uh, it's like 10 degrees outside right now. It's, uh, it's below freezing. Um, but I'll keep working away at this and sending you videos.